Tonight, two teenagers are still recovering after a car wreck near Oakleaf High School that killed one student. Police think those teenagers may have been racing after school let out Monday when the car they were in hit a tree. 16 year old Keandre Moss died in that crash. And if that tragedy wasn't enough people, some of them spending their time trolling the friends and the loved ones of those victims online. Kaylee Tracy is on your side tonight in Oakleaf and Kaylee. It is hard to understand why someone would pick this time to act this way to people who are already suffering. Yeah, Anthony and Heather, you can see behind me the memorial at the crash site here. It has grown even more, showing the support from the family, more balloons and flowers today even more than tomorrow but Keandre's sister tells me that they've received messages through Facebook and the GoFundMe page they've set up to help pay for funeral costs for her brother saying things like he got what he deserved if the car he was in was in fact racing others she said she did not want to talk about it on camera saying she doesn't want to focus on the negatives but does want these strangers to know words have weight Balloons, flowers, and cards full of condolences lay at the crash site where 16-year-old Keandre Moss died Monday. But it's the negative notes his family says they've received online from strangers that are making their pain even worse. I'm not too saddened at the stupid choices teens make, knowing yet still not caring if the dangers they bring to themselves and others. One message sent to a GoFundMe page to pay for burial costs for Moss reads. According to JSO, witnesses say the car was going fast with Moss and two other teens inside and may have been racing two other cars before it hit a tree. We can't compare adolescent thinking to adult thinking. Um, and there's just, there's just so many things that they'll do that may not make sense, may be irrational or impulsive, and they take a lot of risks. Um, so it's really not uncommon for adolescents to make those types of choices that are risky. Many of us probably have. We just may not have had as bad of an outcome. Dr. Pamela Trotter is a professor of psychology at FSCJ. She says messages and comments on Facebook like these prolongs the grieving process for a family already full of pain. Loss is already hard enough, but when you can counterfactually think about what it could have been different, it makes it even more difficult to, to deal with. It wasn't like, you know, it was a terminal cancer diagnosis. It was an accident, and so we can keep thinking through if only, and that makes grieving a, lo a lot more difficult. Her advice for Moss's family is to focus on these messages, not these ones. You have to just turn the, the comments off. People of goodwill who understand teenagers and know that teenagers sometimes make, you know, impulsive, risky choices. These accidents happen, and they're going to be people who are going to know that and see that and want to support you financially. And you can see that support from the community again right here. More flowers, candles, and notes for their fallen classmate out here. And students tell me that they have planned a vigil right here at the crash site for Saturday morning. That will start at 8.30. Also on Friday, before the homecoming football game, they're planning to have a moment of silence to honor their fallen classmate. As for the other two teens who were involved in that crash, we're told they're still in serious condition at the hospital. We'll be sure to keep you updated on air and on online with any developments as they become available for now. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. Kaylee, thank you. And this week's tragedy is a reminder for teenagers that driving isn't just fun or freedom, it's a big responsibility. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says car crashes are the single leading cause of death for American teenagers. On average, six people between 16 and 19 die in cars every single day. Risk factors mostly come from inexperience, like underestimating dangerous situations and driving too fast.